Hey guys, this is Malakat again, and like I said before, I was going to go ahead and post up a video for CG Miner explaining a little bit as to what some of the features on here actually do. Now, before I actually uh, get started on this, let me go ahead and go back to this link real quick. I know there's a lot of people asking, uh, you know, what does uh, my GPU generally put out? What does my CPU put out? Um, stuff like that, and I actually found one link that's actually really good and you go on here and it's got a list of CPUs and GPUs both NVIDIA and the um, and Intel it'll give you the model, the K hash, the watts, the clock, cores, what kind of miner the person was using um, command lines and or arguments that were used, operating system that it, the program was used on and then any particular notes that the person might have put in now we're just going to go and scroll down real quick, uh, as you can tell AMD CPUs, blah 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 here's the NVIDIA ones and here are the ATI ones now the video that I did before had a 6770 on there so if we go back we look through here, we've got a 6770 AMD roughly 200k hash uh, the power usage um, nobody's really said anything on there we've got the clock everything else what program was used CG minor and then what coding was used for or, or in order to get to 200 now this is a uh, actually kind of useful in case you're wanting to to mess with your settings um, but this is for commands we're doing only what's on the software right now we will get into commands later but the reason I want you to learn what's on the software itself is uh, because it's a lot more simple if, if you mess with the coding and you put in the wrong command even if it's off by you know one period you might have missed a, a letter or a period here well guess what then it isn't gonna work it's just gonna sit there um, but on the contrary if you're sitting here messing with the program features through the software itself then you can kind of mess with them a little bit without necessarily breaking the system or, or breaking your miner and then being stuck not not being able to mine um, so the first thing we're going to go and get into is uh, pool management and if you go into pool management you're going to want to hit P and I've got our several pools enabled just because I wanted to use them as examples um, failover basically if let's say light bonk right here set to priority zero. Priority zero runs off the same as uh, command zero one two three four. So it'll start off on this site but if it if it messes up you know and you have failover enabled what it'll do is it'll switch from priority zero to priority one. Now I know priority one is again light bonk it, it's just an example it could be a different one for you but it'll switch from there to this and then it'll start up and if that one fails then it'll switch to coin tron because it's priority two and it'll keep going like that now the add pool and remove pool features um relatively simple we're going to go ahead and do the add pool real quick add pool you hit a and it's going to ask you to type in the address that you want to hook into oh, you have to type it in right stratum plus tcp brackets forward forward slash pool dot light bonk dot com now before you hit enter make sure to put the little bracket in there and put in the port number you have to put in the port number if you just put in the site link it isn't going to work uh, username you go back to username again we're using the username for your workers not for your login password again worker password not login password and bam we just added in a new pool now if you look down here we've got them listed again zero one two three and if you look over to the right which was number three the latest one added it says dead but it's actually it, it's just like starting up your miner it might take it a few seconds to actually connect but it, it is alive um, now if you just want to check check that um, let's go ahead and go to switch pool which you'll hit S you hit 3 because it was the latest one that's the last one we added in hit enter and it'll update and now if you look at it, enabled, alive, priority zero, the priority was switched over to this one because that's the one that you want to use. Again, if, if it fails, it'll start switching over to priority one, priority two, priority three. Um, 
if you want to remove a pool, we've got tons of the light bonk ones. We'll just get rid of one real quick. You hit R, and then you're going to select the pool that you want to get rid of. We'll start off with the very first one that was at the top. So we'll put zero. Again, you're going by programming feature zero, one, two, three, four. It does not start off at one. And now if you look, zero, one, two. One of the pools is gone, removed, goodbye. Uh, disable pool acts just like the remove pool. You're going to hit D. It'll ask you which pool you want to disable. Um, oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, disable pool, we'll go ahead and go with 1 again. And now if you go back and look, it's still got 0, 1, and 2. But now if you look, some of them are disabled. We've still got ours, of course, enabled. It's still working fine. Everything's good. Um, again, the switch pool, you hit S. You switch from whichever pool you want to be on. Information, you hit I, and it'll actually give you the information for whatever pool you put in. We put zero. Give it a moment, and it'll tell you the rejected difficulty shares, efficiency, discarded work, um, a whole bunch of neat little information that you can use going to go back now we're more or less done with pool management let's go and go into GPU management now GPU management this one actually looks a little bit different um, because it is an NVIDIA card if you had an ATI or an AMD video card you would actually also have another setting added in right back here that would say change settings now when you go into change settings and yes, I actually have this memorized. You can actually go in there and change your uh, the memory clock. Uh, you can change the temperatures. Um, you can also set an auto fan. It'll give you the options at the very bottom. It'll say auto. You hit A, and what that's going to do, it's going to bring up a menu that's going to have GPU management and fan management. When you turn on both auto on those, what it's going to do is it's going to take your fan and it's going to read the temperature of your uh, of your GPU that you're using and it's going to make sure that it isn't uh, overheating itself so if it does try to get hot it'll actually kick the fan on a little bit more and cool it back down for a little bit GPU management auto what that does is it tries to run the GPU more or less it's kind of like uh, think of it as a race in a race you don't go all out you know you'll end up really tired what you want to do is you you know you you'll take small spurts of running and then you'll slow down a little bit so you can catch your breath and then do that that's more or less what it's doing it it'll increase the power of your hash rate and then once it gets to a certain point it'll stop and then start lowering itself back down that way it doesn't put too much pressure on your GPU and it doesn't fry it out I love that feature and it actually does help <coughs> with your uh, your hash management um, tweaking that a little bit here and there depending on again what you have will give you a little bit of a better hash uh, now let's go ahead and go over here to uh, intensity intensity that's another thing that does deal with your hash power um, I would not recommend starting your intensity off at a really high number that might actually lock up your system there's actually a really good chance it will lock up your system um, just because you see other people using their intensity at 18 or 20 does not mean that yours will work at an 18 or 20. Again, go back, look through the references. I'll put the link uh, to this side up. But look through the references and you know get a, get a rough idea as to what your video card should be putting out. You know, look up your model number, so forth, so forth. And you know check the references there, there's little notes right here people will tell you hey you know um, I'm using intensity 10 with only one thread and I'm using a 47, uh, 4770 model card I'm only getting 18 hash eh, you know that's that's uh, that's actually kind of low um, but again that's that's a little bit of coding this is just messing with intensity again you can change it from here we'll we'll set it to 8 real quick and bam it changes hash rate goes up a little bit as you can tell right there and I'm just gonna set mine back down again just because I'm recording and I don't wanna have to fight with the program to to record properly 
<clears throat> All right. Uh, again, messing with intensity, I would recommend starting off at a low number, start off at maybe five, six, or whatever else, and just steadily raise it by one each time, and, you know, write down, check it, see how much your hash rate is, just to compare and see which one actually tends to work better. Uh, restart GPU, you can just restart your GPU, enable, disable, simple, you can either enable or disable your GPU, I don't know why you would want to disable it, but I guess, you know, whatever. Uh, that's it for GPU management. Let's go ahead and go into settings now. Now for settings, you've got a few different little options here. Uh, you don't really have to mess with a lot of this stuff. The only thing that I would recommend kind of tweaking every now and again is the scan time. You hit S, it'll ask you for what kind of scan time you, you want to put in. You can put anything, of course, from, you know, 1, 2, 3, don't put a 0 in. Uh, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to, you know, 60, 80, 120, whatever. I tend to set mine roughly at about between 20 to 30, and that tends to bring my hash rate up a little bit. Uh, again, you may have to tweak yours a little bit. Yours might be slightly different from mine. But you should hopefully get a little bit of increase in your hash. Um write config file uh, I'm not gonna really mess with that just because my config file doesn't really work and I don't want to get into that until I, I have it working properly uh, CG minor restart simple you hit C it'll ask you do you want to restart you hit Y and it'll restart on its own that simple let's go and go back to display options now we're back at the very beginning you hit D and this right here is more or less you know if you want the program to run normal clear silent mode uh, debug if you're running into any problems turn on your debug it'll give you you know a whole bunch of coding you might be able to take that coding and post it into the form and somebody might have run across that error and they might know how to fix it so they might be able to help you out with that uh, you can turn on the details for your work time um, turn on log interval or you can change your log intervals or you can zero out your statistics up here if I'm not mistaken but that's really about it that's you know not too much and this is just again the base for it uh, we will get into the commands later on but I don't want to do that until you know you get somewhat of a, a good understanding as to what some of this stuff does again I don't want you to start doing commands and then you know input the wrong command and you can't mine anymore you, I'd rather you learn this real quick and have the option to change the settings through this while still learning and let me see I don't think I'm missing anything um, again I will go ahead and post up this neat little link with all the information I do have another one that I need to find that actually has a lot more um, CPUs GPUs and everything else listed uh, if you do run across any kind of problem or any kind of um, difficulty, uh, feel free to drop me a line. I'll try to do my best to respond, and I'll try to do my best to try and, you know, get it, I guess, fixed for you. But uh, if I can't, then we'll we'll try the forum. Um, I guess that's really about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope it helps out a little bit. And... Uh, 